Welcome back to another video. It's crazy to see this thing on the ground. I've seen it stood up on a stand for so long now since we blew the motor, really. Our agenda today is to dive into the mystery of how this motor popped, really. So with the stock Predators, um, you know, they're really only good for 3,600 RPM. After that, you know, you have flywheel failure, you have rod failure. I'm pretty sure that a rod failure happened and it kicked up and broke the block. So from this angle, you really can't see anything. So we're going to be disassembling this motor and seeing what we can find. And I do have another motor for this. So, you know, we'll dive into that motor as well in the future, but I want it to document what it's like when you pop one of these and the reason why when you remove the governor that you should do the supporting mods that we will be doing on the new motor to go on this go-kart. So the first order of mission is going to be taking this motor off, taking a look at it, see what it looks like after the carnage. off weird to see this thing without a motor but this thing will be back and better than it's ever been and I was looking at some pictures the other day of it in its glory days this thing was pretty nice but I think we're gonna be able to top that this time around and try to keep it that way so here we have our motor I'm gonna put a little towel under it so the oil and I was taking it off and you can kind of hear some fuel in there. So I'm going to empty that out so that we can disassemble this and take a look at the damage. So I was looking at the bolts underneath the motor to see if I could take off the flywheel cover and I find this big piece of metal loose yeah it's not supposed to be there so I'm gonna be able to take that off after I take off the flywheel cover nice little prop piece Okay, maybe it wasn't the motor that blew. So I, at first I saw this big hole just punched right at the top of the flywheel cover. Thank God I ran that, right? And then I saw this and it looks like maybe I didn't give the motor the right spacing and it wasn't Oh, because you can see if you move this wire, do have a hole in the block. Not quite what I was expecting to see. Seems like the block is okay, but we can't even mount an ignition system to the block. So we're gonna have to replace the block anyway. Kind of a bummer. I was really hoping to preserve this ignition system, but I guess it just didn't gap it right. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't know how to gap it. I just kind of put a piece of paper through and, and assumed that was fine. And if there was that kind of gap, it was gonna be all right. Maybe I didn't tighten the bolt enough, but uh, regardless, I might get an, another one of those ignition systems and just look up how to do it. 
but I'm still waiting on a flywheel for this uh, because we're not going to be running the plastic flywheel. We're going to do the engine build in another video, but this is going to be just tearing this thing down and um, kind of seeing what happens. So, yeah. So as you guys can tell, I took off a few more things than before. We have the carb off, um, a few miscellaneous pieces that were right here like this. So this was the overflow, which actually did a really good job. We'll put a picture on the screen of the residue that was built up in here. So this did a great job. Um, what's nice is that it has a valve. Before it even gets too full, I'm able to empty it. And um, unfortunately, it's not draining all of it, but I don't know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that it fills up that quick all the time anyways. Um, I do want to let you guys know that Tons coil was not the issue for my motor blowing. Um, I actually did not install this properly. I've learned a lot by doing some research about how to properly gap these. And I think I'll make a video on that eventually, but um, I just want you to know that I installed the part wrong. So the Tons coil is a great performance upgrade. Um, just ensure just make sure that you install it properly that way you don't run into this issue and it's unfortunate because now I have a good block but I unfortunately blew off the second mounting point for our ignition coil so I'm gonna be stripping this block uh, completely pull off this head um, internally we don't really need anything because this is a stock predator and the internals on this are its weakest link so everything we're doing is going to be billet so it's gonna be all upgrades from here at this from this point on uh, we're gonna be taking off the clutch and just some miscellaneous hardware but I think it would be cool to mess around with porting the head um, after doing some research, it looks like there's uh, quite a bit of potential to add some good flow to these heads that I think would be kind of fun to experiment and see, um, you know, what kind of results we can get from doing porting yourself or doing it at home. I'm not sure when I'll get around to that, but if I do, I think it'll be a really cool thing. Uh, to show you guys. I'm going to do more research on that and this will be kind of a side quest to uh, building the whole new motor. When that's all built we're going to be running it. I think it's doable to show a side-by-side -side comparison in one day. Um, that's if I have another hand with me. So here we have a sneak peek at what's to come for the motor build. Um, this was the last piece that we needed. So now that that's in, we're going to be diving into that. So unfortunately, this is kind of a boring video just because nothing crazy happened to the motor. Um, just we blew off a mounting point and we have to scrap a motor that could have held up a little bit longer. But I think it's good because I was having a lot of issues keeping the motor running and I don't know what it was. So my instinct was to replace the ignition coil kind of upgrade it in the process and by doing so i installed it wrong and uh that's what caused the motor to yeet itself but if you guys stuck around you know i'll show you guys a sneak peek of what's going on here is our nine bot go-kart pro in the process of doing a body swap with the Porsche. We're pretty far along. We kind of have everything mounted up for the most part. And I think this is going to, this will be the next video. And we're going to be testing it really soon once I finalize a few things. I hope you guys are excited for that. I've been slacking on the videos, so I wanted to get something out for you guys and kind of update a few things. Or as for the blue Razor Ground Force Drifter build, we're waiting for a few more bushings and then we can finish the front end. Um, we had some front end issues and some tires that weren't holding up. I decided to refresh the whole thing and we're waiting for one more part and then we can wrap it all up and that video will come out really soon. And then we can have full driving videos 
with full confidence on that go-kart, but the front end situation, the way it was, was not the best. I will further explain that when we get there, but just know that it needed to be disassembled and redesigned pretty much. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video where we either drive the Porsche or we build the motor. Who knows? Subscribe and find out. Peace.